Hi all and welcome back to my very first Let's Play of Siberia Dog Virgin. And we are exploring the train station and we are about to talk to this whistling gentleman. But before we do that, I just wanted to remind you all that if you enjoy what you are seeing, video or channel, I would really appreciate it if you hit those like subscribe buttons, obviously. And having said that, can we, can we talk to you at all? No? Oh, how cruel. The game leaves us with this whistling guy and we cannot even make him stop. I mean, we can leave, I guess. So we, we uh, have explored the inside of the train for now. I don't think we can leave through here. Can we sit on this bench? I don't think we can do anything in this little part. Okay. So, I think we might be done inside of this station for now because we uh, explored the rest of this area already. Yeah. And there's no one in here and I don't think we can go inside. No need to go down there. Thank you for reminding me of that line. I had almost forgotten. Oh, we could have walked across. Okay, anyway. I think we are done. So we are going back to the crossroads. Uh, Because we, yeah, there's no walking on the side of this building. So the only thing we could do in there for now, I think, I mean, I might have missed something, obviously, but we did do something with the train, uh, which might be interesting. Okay, let's just move on, I guess. So top left it is. Oh, all right. So we got um, like a platform area here as well. And a machine, which I don't think we can interact with. No, 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 no. Oh, here's something. Okay. <laughs> so whatever this is, one of those we uh, got inside of... I think that has to be the factory. Are we done here, maybe? I think maybe that was... Maybe all we could do here for now. So. That canister, whatever it is, is now inside the factory. And I guess this is the path to the factory? Yes, it was. Okay. So this is the stuff we're actually here to try and buy. Whirlberg. On behalf of the toy company. Okay, can we go inside? Ah, we could. No key needed. Well, that's a lot of uh, automatons. And we can also go up these stairs, I think. Okay, um. Can, yeah, let's start with these gentlemen, gentle bots. Oh, this is cool. 
and everything is um, is turned off, but it's still pretty impressive. So was this the schematics that um, that haunts me? Can we go inside here? No, we need a key. We do not need a key. Big machine. Doesn't look like that works. That doesn't work. Ah. I think... Could this be the... Um, Cog things. Okay, let's get back to it. My pet theory is for now, that we need to do something with cards. But let's explore the rest of this. Well, I don't think we can do much on this one. Okay, we can't even do anything with it. We can only stay here and look at it. Yeah, this is like the assembly line. Once again, I don't think we can actually interact with some... Well, anything really. Okay, so I guess we are doing the stairs then. Okay, more stairs and a door. Now well, let's actually do the door first. It's just there, you know. Okay, we have ourselves an office. Is this uh, the late father's office? That's like a little clock. Thing. Okay, why did it do that? I don't think we can do that. The toy. No. Okay, let's see. Is that like the the first Vorlberg? Can we open any of the drawers? No. No. That looks like schematics. Let's start with that. Oh yeah, 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 that's the train. That is indeed the train. <clears throat> Valid Lynn. Dear Hans, I know how much you dislike the written word, but I do not have the time to forge you a voice cylinder. I imagine that someone in your entourage will be kind enough to read these few lines to you. I received your latest set of plans. Your project is extraordinary. Your all-time masterpiece, perhaps. Time seems to have had no effect on your genius, quite the contrary. I am proud of you, my dear little brother. Sometimes I find it hard to believe that a century has gone by since the last time I saw a century? It only seems like yesterday that you rushed away from Valadilla. We undertook production immediately following 
your instructions to the letter. The locomotive was ready within a week. If only you could see it, but you will see it. That much I have promised you. It is magnificent. It seems impatient to set out on its maiden voyage. There is only Oscar left to build. I hope I will finish him soon, but as you can imagine, his mechanism is complex and takes a great deal of time and handiwork. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand you wish me to bring you that cursed prehistoric doll, the very thought of which I wonder if it thought of which I wonder if it is still in the cave and if it is what state is it in. It is in a pretty good state because we have it. But what does 60 years matter, after all, to an object already several thousand years old? I'm going to find it, Hans, I promise you. I have a bit of a nasty flu at the moment, which is running me down a little. I should be better in a few days, though. No, she died. She, she, she dead. The sailor factory is taking shape. The lawyer from New York should be visiting, and we will be able to sign the contracts. Then I shall perish. Okay, awkward. Very awkward indeed. Uh, okay. Okay, nothing here. Let's have a closer look at this. Can, can we? Why can we not do anything here? Jammed. It's jammed. God, this thing's jammed. We we cannot take that? What did we take though? Did we take the cylinder? Yeah, we did. Okay. We broke it. No witnesses though. No witnesses. So I guess that's okay. Let's go outside and look at whatever this is. Oh, big, big machine. Vorlberg. If that's going to work. It looks like something's missing. Oh, of course it is. Doesn't look like that works. Okay, let's leave it this until we have whatever it is we're looking for. Yeah. Okay. But we definitely need uh, something. I don't think we have it. I would be very surprised if a music cylinder goes into that. Then again, you know, adventure games can be pretty weird. Okay, let's... Um, yeah, I still don't think we can do much here, so let's go back into that room and try try to figure out some stuff. Run, please. Add a girl, Kate. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with this first part. Really? I missed that? Okay, that was pretty cool. I think that's a water wheel. 
So something is now up and running. Um, hmm. But they're still okay. But I, yeah. I mean, I thought the cogs would start the thing, but we already did that now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I... And I almost forgot. We did have this. Okay, so I think maybe we're... Because we can't do anything with that one, and we can't do... No, that's that. Okay, my guess is that we're probably done in here now. Probably. Hopefully. You know what? Where um So for all of you who are wondering what the hell I'm doing, I'm actually trying to figure out where the canister went. Like the one we picked up earlier? Has to be somewhere like it. Yes, hello? Kate, what happened to you, my poor munchkin? I've been trying to contact you for hours. I'm in Europe, Ma. Job thing. What? Europe? My God. Oh, I've got such happy memories of Europe. Some of them even involve your father, but, uh, that's enough of that. Tell me, where are you? Paris? London? Venice? Valadilene, yeah. I know, it's a bit out in the boonies. What in the world are you doing out there? You know, business. I've got to see through the takeover of some old family business that's got a few debts. It's a really charming place, but there's one or two weird things going on here. I, I can't go into it now. Oh, well, that's right. Your old mother's too dumb to understand it. You really do take after your father sometimes. Mother... Kate, you'll never guess who I saw yesterday? Ma, I haven't got a lot of time, you know. Frank! Ma, please, I've got to go. Frank! Frank Malkovich, the Russian opera singer. Well, maybe you don't remember him. He was quite a star in his day. Listen, Ma, I really don't have the time. I'll call you back. He is as charming as he always was. We spent it. Mom, I really have to go. I'll call you back, I promise. Lots of love. Kate! Yeah, I said it before, but we are having quite a busy morning when it comes to uh, all of these phone calls. So that's the canister, and this is something. Can we grab that? I don't think we can. That's really heavy. I've got to get some help. Okay, automaton, forklift, whatever thingy. hope we just did. I kind of wanted to get the canister, but I guess we just... Oh. Oh, that's... That's an automaton that's kind of alive. 
Oh, could this be the, the one that she mentioned in her, her letter? The thing that she was still building? That would be so cool. So what can we do here? Can we talk? No, we cannot interact with him, I think. Wow. Uh, can... Can we... Is that a crank? I don't think we can do anything on this bench. Cannot do anything with this. Okay. No, whatever. Well, he seems to be alive in some fashion. Can we talk to him now? Yeah, let's try and we can do something. Oh, many thanks indeed. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. You see, nobody here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential task. Have you logged my first and last name? Perfectly. Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you. Me too, uh, Model XZ2000. Please, all my friends call me Oscar. This fad for cryptic names is such a bore. Could you imagine being called by your passport number? I suppose not, Mr. Oscar. Sir. Alright. I wonder who his friends are, seeing as he hasn't even been assembled. Yeah, you know, whatever. Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. Been there. When you are complete and totally functional, can you help me gather information about Hans Vorlberg? I'm afraid I can't, Kate Walker. Duty calls. Once I've recovered my feet, I have to see to my post on the train. It's waiting for its engineer. All right, so eventually we'll be using that train, I'm certain. Does the name Hans Vorlberg mean something to you? Of course, he created me. But I'm sorry to say that I am yet to meet my maker. Have you any idea where he might be right now? No, Kate Walker, but I am sure I would experience great metaphysical satisfaction in his presence. Pasta. You said you were a train engineer? What train would that be? But, Kate Walker, you have not seen the magnificent train waiting at the station? And where is that train going, Mr. Oscar? The train is going far away. Very, very far away indeed. Are you taking any passengers? My duty is to drive the train. Above all, to avoid delays. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I will agree with you, though, Kate Walker, that a train without passengers is hardly a train at all. You haven't answered my question. For further details, please consult Anna Vorlberg. Yes, yeah, she's dead. Yeah. You are a very strange robot. Automaton, if you please. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Automatons have an additional soul auxiliary, you understand? Uh, I think so. They have a soul auxiliary? Okay. Has it been a long time since you last saw Anna Vorlberg? 72 hours, 32 minutes, and 20 seconds, to be precise. This regrettable absence explains the delay in my production process. Anna Vorlberg is dead, Mr. Oscar. What do you mean by the notion of death, Kate Walker? Broken. Disactivated. Worn out. Damaged. Unplugged. Oh, that really is most bothersome. 
I'd rather counted on finishing my production. Can I be of use to you? Why, you certainly can. I absolutely must have my feet. My hands are model XZ2003. My feet are model XZ2005 underscore B. Be careful. The model XZ2005 underscore A has evidenced some rather embarrassing performance failures. Like bugs? Automatons do not have bugs, Kate Walker. They simply display functional idiosyncrasies. I'm sorry, I didn't know. What do I have to do to get you a pair of feet? Use the assembly line to construct them. You will need a production punch card, on which is recorded my body design data. Here is my own punch card. Okay, I'll give it a go. Thank you, Kate Walker. I think we're done here. Oscar, I am delighted to have met you. See you again soon, I hope. Yes, Kate Walker. And we have Oscar's card. And I think... Yeah. I think we're done here. Yes, we're done here. For now. Okay, so... I am guessing that now... Run, please. Uh, I don't think this area actually had anything. No. I don't think it did. Now I... No, 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 no. What's up here? I think now we might have... what we need to do something uh, with this piece of machinery. Okay, that does nothing. Doesn't look like that works. Okay, these are all dead, and we cannot do anything with these, so I guess... Doesn't look like that works. That doesn't work. This does something, and this is... so... Yay. Um... <laughs> okay. So, can we... Oh yeah, let's uh, clean out that, and... No. Oh, that lights up as well. Okay. No. Ah, okay. Well, those were certain legs. were down here. We have wooden legs. Okay, let's see if he uh, is he okay with that? No oh, good, sir. I have legs. Here are your feet, Oscar. I hope I haven't made a mistake. These feet are incorrect, Kate Walker. Okay. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. The most sophisticated ones use more precious resources such as ebony imported from Madagascar? Okay. 
I guess we're going back to the assembly line. Okay. Is it this thing? How do we know? Did it say anything about color? Probably did. That color, maybe. simply continue with the legs problem in the next part. Hopefully we can get him walking again. Thank you for following my adventure with the feet in Siberia. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I would love if you dropped a sub or a like and if I saw you again in the next video. But for now it is time to say bye bye.